I think probably when you look at this, you're, you found that you're maybe okay with the numbers because you can think through how this works here. If you're looking at this one and you're looking at base 5, if you were to write this as using base 5 logarithms, you can, you can kind of just think, well, this number is 5 to the 4th, so it's logarithm. Log base 5 of that number has to be 4. 4 is the exponent that you need with a power of 5 to get 625. And the other, the other side over here going the other way from logarithmic form to exponential form, if you have log base 3 of 81 equals 4, that's because 81 is the fourth power of 3. So you can write it as 81 is 3 to the fourth. If you want a way of working with it, especially when there's numbers you can't really work with, because they're general, they're, they're variables, not specific numbers. You can think of the, I mean, these are equations you can think of and work with. Just like in grade 8, uh, when you had an equation like that, you could probably just intuitively say, well, x has to be 10 minus 2, right? In grade 8, you, you learn that. But you're also taught a way of isolating the variable using inverse operations. And this is going to be no different. In grade 8, you have x plus 2 is 10. A lot of you can, you know, in grade 8, even just say x is 10 minus 2. But you can think of it this way and eliminate that on that side. Adding 2 on one side is the same as having subtract 2 on the other side. You can use the inverse. If it says plus 2, you can take away 2 on both sides to cancel out that operation. You can do the same thing here. If, if you have an expression, if you have an exponential expression using base 5, the way you can get rid of that exponential expression is by doing the logarithm base 5 on both sides. All right, I should start you with one that's base 10. Hi, right, what's up? Uh, let's think of a base 10 one here first. 10 to the 5 is wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay, there we go. 10 to the 5 is 100,000. Need more space. Go down here. You can write that in logarithmic form by thinking, well, I want to get rid of this on that side because I want to write it without this exponential expression. You have that key on your calculator, and the inverse of that key is this key. Those are inverse operations. If I was to take the logarithm of both sides, these two operations undo each other. So if I have the logarithm of 10 to the power of 5, What's that the same as? Logarithm of 10 to the power of 5? Isn't that just 5? If I take a 5 on the calculator and then push, okay, so we're, you start with 5, and then you push 10 to the power of that, 10 to the power of that number. You get 100,000. And then if I push logarithm of that number, I get my 5 back, right? Logarithm of 10 to the power of 5 is 5. Logarithm 10 to the power of 5 is going to be 5, right? Those two operations cancel each other out. Logarithm of 10 to the power of, just the same way as square root of 3 squared, just the same as those two operations cancel each other out. Square root of 3 squared is 3. So if I have if I have an equation that has an exponential expression in it, I can eliminate that exponential expression by using logarithms. This cancels each other out, and you just have a five, and then you have log of a hundred thousand on that side. You can take the logarithm of both sides of an equation. So let's go back to where we were here. 
So that's what I'm suggesting for this one. If you have this expression here, 5 to the 4th of 625, you can eliminate this exponential expression by doing the log base 5, because that's what base we're working with, by doing the log base 5 of both sides. Put that in brackets just to keep track of it there. That should be the same as log base 5 of this side. Okay, you have 5 to the 4th on one side. Now I'm doing log base 5 of that. You have 625 on the other side, doing log base 5 of that. If the first statement's true, then this has to be true, because all I've done is the same operation of both sides. These cancel each other, and I just have a 4. I know that this is troubling for some grade 12s because... And, and it took me a few years, I think, to figure this out, but because um, they would say, well, I don't understand how this 4, it was kind of small here. And then once you cancel out those operations, it's um, big. How did that happen? How did it go from being small to big? It, it just does. It's, it's just the notation you use. Think about it on the calculator. You don't write it small and big. You write... You just write 5 to the power of 4 is written that way. There's no small numbers and big numbers. So don't, don't let that trouble you. If you have 5 to the power of 4 and then you take the log base 5, you just have a 4. That'll work for any of these things here. Okay, let's look at one that's similar like this. <clears throat> if I want to write that in logarithmic form... I want to get rid of this exponential expression here. What operation would I do to both sides to get rid of that? If I have 4 to the power of, now you don't have this button, but it would be that. What would the inverse of that be? Log base 4, absolutely, right? So if I did the log base 4 of this side, that should be equal to the log base 4 of that side. This cancels out on this side. Log base 4 of 4 to the power of negative 3. Log base 4 of 4 to the power of. Log base 4, 4 to the power of. Those are inverses. They cancel each other out, and I'm just going to have, what am I going to have? That, right? These two buttons cancel each other out, so if you have log base 4 of 4 to the power of, they cancel out. Log base 4 of 1 over 64. It works anything here. If you have something with variables like that, if I want to change that form, well, that's actually the reverse here, so let's, let's look at this one instead. Because <clears throat> that's an exponential form, changing it to logarithmic form. If you want to change it to logarithmic form, take the logarithm on both sides. If I'm looking at this, which base logarithm should I be using? Log base... P, right? Because that's the base. That's the that's the powers you're working with. So then log base P of N should equal log base P of B to the W. It's confusing. you got subscripts, numbers, superscripts. Got to write carefully. This cancels out. I just have W log base P of N. Going the other way. We should stop this here and make a...